When gaming first started out, there was only one objective. Either beat the game or get the highest score possible. Look at Pac-Man. Your goal is to collect the pellets and avoid the ghosts while attempting to get the highest score you can. That's it. There's no side quest that explains why Pac-Man is stuck in the maze, or how he cheated on his wife with Clyde. There's the game, some basic cutscenes, and that's it. But despite the simplicity, Pac-Man and other arcade games are still fun to this day. But as gaming transitioned from the arcade to the home, games need more things to do to keep the player playing. If you're only doing one objective, you probably won't play for 30 hours. And something to help with that, our side quests. A side quest often starts with some random NPC asking you to do something. Fetch a certain item, kill a certain enemy, something like that. You go do it, come back, and get your reward. Sound like fun? No, it doesn't quit lying. More often than not, you're just doing someone's chores. I'm willing to bet you don't even remember most of the side quests you've done. This is the problem. Sure, you may get a fair reward sometimes, but the reward is temporary. It gets used up, or you might find something else to use instead. In my opinion, it's more about the journey than the destination. You remember what you did to complete the mission more than the reward in most cases or at least you would if most side quests weren't super boring. Gaming has come to the point where basically every aspect has been innovated and improved upon. Gameplay, graphics, story, controls have all improved significantly over time. Side quests, however, seem to have been left behind. To show you what I mean, let's look at a random side quest from games that were made about 16 years apart from each other. You might be familiar with the pizza missions from Spider-Man 2. If you're not, you basically deliver pizza. That's it. It's got a great theme to go with it, but it's very simple. Now let's look at Ghost of Tsushima. In this side quest, you have to investigate a suspicious neighbor, go to his last known location, follow him and his friends, confront them, follow them, defeat the enemy, and get your reward. This one is a bit unique, but the premise is basically trail this guy and defeat some enemies. This type of side quest is very common. You might find it in something like Assassin's Creed. What do these two side quests have in common? They're simple. The simplicity is not the problem here. If a side quest is too complex, it might deter the player from ever doing it. The problem is that if a side quest is too simple, it's forgettable. The only thing you remember from these is the pizza theme. You probably don't remember where you delivered the pizzas to, or what people said after they received their pizza. Also, you probably already forgot what the side quest from Ghost of Tsushima was. I just said it, and you forgot it. That proves my point. Side quests are often an afterthought and are just kind of put together with some elbow glue and scotch tape. They both work, but not in the long run. There is one series of games that contrasts this, however, and has some of the most memorable side quests in gaming, that being the Yakuza series. I use this flex tape. Yakuza's main story has a serious tone. Usually there's some crime happening, so it wouldn't be appropriate to mix some comedy into the main story. The side quests, however, are the complete opposite. Let me show you some examples. There's one where you beat up a man pretending to be a baby, train someone how to become more punk, find this guy's pants, beat up an impersonator, do this, get involved in a pyramid scheme, save this guy, become a mascot, deliver a pizza, escort Michael Jackson. All of these side quests and more share one thing. They're memorable. Where was the man and baby in Ghost of Tsushima. The main reason why they're so memorable is because they completely ignore the serious tone of the main story and just kind of do whatever they want. You're more likely to do these because they're not a complete chore, unlike most games. There are some bad quests, like ones where you beat up just one guy, but at least most of the side quests are better than 90% of other games. We're to the point now where AAA games have such a huge budget. Despite this, it seems like a lot of developers don't focus on side quests as much as they should. Of course, put the main story, gameplay, and such first, but what's the point of having side quests if they're repetitive and boring. Having side quests for the purpose of having side quests is stupid and only exists to pad out playtime. So what I'm trying to say is that every game should be Yakuza.